Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Terminal Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video I'm going to show you how we can connect a PLC program in Ecostructure Control Expert with this software. So let's go to the application. So I am going to open a program in Operator Terminal Expert. I'm using the version 3.3, okay, which is the latest one. So I'm going to create a new project. Just go for the full view. This okay. So, the first thing that we need to do is, of course, select our target that we have over here. Okay, then what we need to do is to add the driver. If you use the control expert, what we need to do is to select Schneider Electric and select, for example, using Mola Serial. This one is using model TCP in this one. So you can see over here in the information which are the compatible uh, devices. Okay, you can find over here entry 40 and 80. So we just need to click OK. If we're using the simulation, okay, we need to point to this device uh, IP address. That will be the one that we want to configure in the control expert. Here you can use, for example, the name of the device M340, M580, C80, whatever you want to do over here. On this side, you can also configure more, more information about this device that you're going to communicate. And I'm going to use this one. Okay, so I can use percentage MW something in order to communicate. Then what we need to do, okay. We have two options. If we know the address of the variable, we just need to add the variable, select the source that we want, and then the device address that we have. Another solution would be to use the symbol link. But for this, okay, if we select symbol, we have the possibility to use this XBM Ecostructure Control Expert file. Okay, this is the file that we can generate in the Control Expert. So if we open the Control Expert, Okay, so new. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just wait for this. Okay, we need to select this one, doesn't matter. Okay, cancel. And then what I'm going to do is to create some variables over here. So going to add for example w bar 01 okay going to put this here so i can show you what i want to do here i'm going to use word and i'm going to add this one another one two so here you can have the possibility to add the address for example nw20 then the other thing that you can do is to add this one, HMI variables, and I'm going to click it for all of them. Okay, so while we have this, what you need to do is to select the variables that have the HMI variables, right click, and export selected. When you select export selected, okay, we just have the possibility to use data mapping XBM, which is the file that we have. And da -da -da that we have, okay, that is required in the control expert, in the operator terminal expert. Okay, so, uh, training, control expert, export. Okay, so now the other thing that we need to do, okay, in case we have um, structures and a lot of stuff, is to configure the following. If we go to tools, uh, options do, 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 do. let me just double check where it is connection languages you will forget something about data dictionary and do, do, do. I think it's not this one project settings here project settings what we need to do let me just remember here 
we need to select data dictionary and also apply this so if we have a structures okay it will allow me to uh to use this communication of the xvn on the context otherwise it's going to fail so let's try to um add something here um, training okay just add something Zero one. It's not going to execute, but it doesn't matter. I just want to do something. Okay. Um, compile. So now, what we need to do if we want to simulate this, okay? We have the set address, and you can find here the simulator. And once the simulator is activated, you should be able to see in the bottom. Okay. Let's see if I can't minimize this part. You see in the bottom, the yellow one, the IP address that is going to be used. So once that is already configured, what we need to do is to connect with the simulation. You can select simulation mode okay and then with this button connect <laughs> then here we need to transfer this let me just check if i can there we go so we have this this is the ap address and this is the, um, the status of the controller as you can see there is nothing in this one so I'm going to download. Okay, and run. So the other thing that I'm going to do is to select all of this and see later how this is going to change from the HMI side. So when this part is already done, okay, we just need to define the values that you want. Select if you want to address address, and then what you need to do is to select this HMI variable. And on tools, project settings, remember to use in the PLC embedded data, data dictionary and only variables. And select the one that you want to export. Okay. Select, right click, and export selected. For this part, it's already done. Okay. So, that we need to do now is to go to Operate Terminal Export. So, the other way that I show you, if you want the variables, you just need to go here. And add it okay so we are zero one direct and then the other way is to using the symbol link so here we should need to xbm import the stop training uh da, 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 da. And let me see if i export it or not Export selected XPM training. Variables uh, training and export. Okay, it has been exported. Variables training open. As you can see here in the folder that I have the two variables. Okay. All the information that I have. So now, all we can do just to show you that it works. Let's call in this screen the two variables. This one variables. This one is direct. Okay, and then the other two variables. Part zero one. Zero two. Okay, so now here we have the possibility to make the simulation. The device simulation will simulate also the device that you're trying to connect. So this one is not going to be useful for us. We need to simulate. So now if everything goes well, we should be able to see zero zero in there. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. So now if we go to this view here, the table, we should be able to change some of these parameters. This one is a direct access, 45. Okay, seven. And this one is going to be the other parameter. So it's going to be uh, 456. And there we go. Okay, so this is how you can make the connection between uh, the control expert and the terminal expert with any of the HMIs using the simulation. Okay, the, the main point here is to remember that you need to select the HMI variables and select the data dictionary, the variables, and export only the variables that you want to share with the um, operator terminal expert. Now, if you want to use additional variables, okay, let's just show you from the control expert. So imagine now that you need to make a change. So I'm going to disconnect from here and I'm going to add another variable here. Bar zero three. What you need to do is to select this one and export again all this. Just yes, okay. Just doing this quickly. Export selected XPM variables training to and export. Now let's connect and download this. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So now I have downloaded the modification on the other side. Okay. Probably if you are thinking in Visual Designer, you have like an update link or something here, we don't have that option. So what we need to do is to delete the actual symbol link that we have and then import again the file. Okay, don't be scared because if you, for example, you're using the login or the alarms, they already configure with a path for those variables that you have the symbol link. So once you delete it and import it again, it should be all the linking in there so you don't miss any information okay so let's continue here the symbol link i'm going to uh, da, 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 going to delete this okay symbol link and then we need to select this one delete not this one because it's good for the project this one yes i'm sure then select the symbol link again. If you take a look, for example, here, it's undefined. Okay, it doesn't matter, no problem. It's just waiting for the new symbol link. Symbol link, XPM, import, variable training two, open. We should be able to have the third variable here. So now if we go here, let's just copy and paste it. And select the variable number three variable number three okay and simulate yeah sure everything is zero okay which is fine information table everything is zero okay so let's try to one two Okay, you can see how this connection with the new variable. So this is it, how you can link the two different software in simulation using the control expert and the operator terminal expert version 3.3. So this is it. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.